Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Dahlquart for CNET here at CES 2014 in Las Vegas, where I'm taking a first look at the very large Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. This is definitely part of the Galaxy Note line, as you can tell by the stylus that slides out from its little cubby hole, and also by the leather-like backing and the stitching here around the side that is molded. It's actually plastic, but it does have a soft touch finish. That's really important when you've got a device this big that you need to grab without it slipping between your fingers. This is definitely a two-handed device. The Galaxy Note Pro comes in black and white colors. As for the screen, this is 12.2 whopping inches of LCD with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels. That is a 4 million pixel haul. Um, that's going to make it very bright and clear. However, the smaller versions of the Pro series that don't have styluses, the 10.1 and 8.4 inch screen versions, will have even sharper resolutions. One of the first things that you're going to notice is the brand new layout. Samsung is calling this the Magazine UX. So everything you saw before on previous notes is gone. Instead, you have this sort of three-tile home screen situation where it's divided into your personal screen, your productivity and working screen, and then your social networking screen. Everything is customizable. Uh, you can get rid of two of the screens if you really want to, but you've got to have at least one. Samsung has really tried to amp up productivity for this device and the other tablets on the Pro line. For example, you've got some office productivity apps, you've got the multitasking. On this large screen format, you can open up to four app windows at a time, and you can open up two instances of the same app. So you've got a calendar, and you want to drag and drop or look at different days on the calendar, you can do that. Another cool feature, and probably one of my favorites from the short time that I've had with the device so far, is the virtual keyboard, which looks a lot like the desktop keyboard. You've got tab and control buttons, you can use shortcuts, and there's a very, very slight bit of haptic feedback if you're the kind of person who likes to know when you've pressed key. For a closer look at some of the apps, you've got Microsoft Office Suite, you've got Remote PC so you can file share with different files that are on your computer, wherever that happens to be. Uh, you also have some Samsung apps like eMeeting and you've got WebEx support. In addition, there are preloaded apps like Evernote, Dropbox, Bloomberg, Business Week, The New York Times, and a bunch more. This is an Android device running 4.4 KitKat right out of the box, so it is nice and up to date. There's an 8 megapixel camera on the back and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. It is LTE supported. There's also 3G support. So there are some regions that don't have LTE, you'll be using 3G, but it is connected. In terms of storage, you'll have 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte versions with a micro SD card slot that will take up to 64 gigabytes in external storage. There are also 3 gigabytes of RAM on here. Underneath the hood, you've got a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, which again could vary by region. We don't have any prices or pinpointed availability yet. However, you should look for this device to come out in its first market in Q1. Samsung is definitely going pro with this. That means there's going to be a very premium price tag for this tablet. Samsung is trying to get you to even more put aside the laptop and use a very high-end tablet that can handle productivity, not just watching videos and playing games. Although you can certainly do this on the pro lines too. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. This has been your first look from CES of the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro.